Good morning. Good morning. My name is Jude Harvey. Yeah. Can you tell me your full name, please? My name is In Me Hop. Thank you. And can you tell me where you're from, In Me? I'm from South Korea. Can I see your identification, yes. please? Thank you. That's okay. fine. Thanks. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. about yourself. Yeah. Tell me about your hometown. What do you like most about your hometown? There are lots of exciting places. One of them is the most interesting places are places is theatres. So in town, there are lots of theatres. So we can enjoy any kinds of uh, any kinds of plays. Is Seoul a popular place for tourists to visit? Yes, there are very uh, s there are some places, uh, especially we have palaces in Seoul. So it is very antique. Uh, they are very antique in special places. So lots of foreigners visit there. And has Seoul changed much in recent years? Yes, of course. Ten years ago, we didn't have um, convenient, convenient public transport, but now they, it is very developed, so we can use them very comfortably and there are very big buildings. Yeah. Let's talk about photos now. Yeah. How often do you take photos? <laughs> I really like taking photos. So sometimes I visit beautiful places with my friend. So I take my pictures every one month. <laughs> do you prefer taking photos of people or of places? Uh, I prefer taking a picture of people. <laughs> yes. Why? <laughs> because they have Every, pe every person has different facial expressions. So when I take a picture of people, I can take their individual expressions. So I really like them. <laughs> what do you do with the photos you take? Excuse me? <laughs> what do you do with the photos you take? Uh... I just write down my memories related to the pictures. So when I have special experience, I always write down the story. Do you think the way people take photos is changing? Sorry? Do you think the way people take photos mm -hmm. is changing? Mm, in my opinion, it's a little bit different, it has changed it. Uh, a few years ago, we always use books, album, do you know albums? Album to, to take photos, but nowadays we use always website. Yeah, so it is very convenient. Let's talk about free time mm -hmm. now. Yeah. How much free time do you normally have? Mm, every day I have two or three hours I have two or three hours free time, so... Um, what do you like doing best in your free time? Uh, uh, I really like keeping a diary, yes. Uh, when I keep a diary, I can reflect myself and I can summarize what happened to me, so I really like it. If you had more free time, yeah. how would you spend it? Mm. Uh, I want to read lots of books more than now. <laughs> yeah. Because when I can read a book in English every one month per month, so I want to read books more. Yeah. Thank you. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Mm. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. Yeah. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yeah. Here's some paper and a pencil for making notes. Thanks. 
And here's your topic. Yeah. I'd like you to describe a situation mm -hmm. when someone that you didn't know mm -hmm. helped you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, yeah. so don't worry if I stop you. Yes. I'll tell you when the time is up. Yeah. Can you start speaking now, please? Yes. Uh, one month ago, I, we had a farewell party with my friends because one of my friend left. Uh, one of my friend went back Germany, so we ha we enjoyed the party until a past and two o'clock so um, to go back home I took a bus with my friend but uh, I often use the bus because I usually take number seven bus but that night I took number one bus so but I did I knew that where I got off but <laughs> after getting off the bus, I got lost <laughs> that night. <laughs> uh, I tried I tried to find my home, but I couldn't. The more I walked along the street, the more difficult I, as it was for me to find my home. I just looked around the neighbors. <laughs> so I, that night I met some people in the town but they didn't know where Histon Road was so uh, I saw a house in the town because the house was turning on the light so I knocked on the door but nobody answered <laughs> but I was very very scared <laughs> but uh, when I was walking on the sh walking along the street I met a man he was he was going to work and the and at night so I asked him how 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 I went to Hessen Road thank you <laughs> and did you thank this man yes <laughs> he took me my home so I told him thank you very much Thank you. Yeah. Can I have the booklet and paper and yeah, pencil, please? Thanks. We've been talking about a situation mm -hmm. where someone you didn't know helped you. Yeah. And I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions mm -hmm. related to mm -hmm. this. Let's consider, first of all, children helping others. Mm -hmm. What kinds of things can children do to help in the home? Uh, you mean children can help others? Yes, in their home. Uh, I think children can organize their rooms. Um, first of all, when they uh, after they use some notes or pencils, they can organize their own stuff and sometimes they uh, can use vo vacuum vacuum machine to for their mom moms so and how do you think children can best learn to be helpful to others uh, the best one is to see uh, their parents help other people so all, uh, even though their parents talk to their children you should help other people is very important values but um, uh, when they do something for others their children can learn what to do so it's very it's the best one. So yeah. parents can help. What yeah. about schools and teachers? Um, uh, in my opinion, uh, teachers can make communities to help people. So they, uh, teachers can gather some students 
to go to orphans or um, um, uh, uh, orphans and then they can get together orphans. In what ways can schools encourage children to help the community? In my opinion, uh, they can uh, uh, teachers can show some video clips or can encourage children to interact with orphanages. So uh, sometimes teachers should talk to them, told them um, they. Uh, orphanages are also a very important person. So. Yeah. Let's think about working for other people without payment. Um, what types of voluntary work are most popular in your country? Uh, we have lots of volunteer works. The most popular popular volunteer work is to teach to teach some children, <laughs> yeah, and to prepare dinner the dinner or the breakfast and then they give some food okay. how do you think individuals might benefit from doing voluntary work mm. even though we did we don't get any pay in volunteer work uh, uh, I can feel very fulfillment um, so it is very helpful for, to increase myself in my life so um, okay. in what ways can voluntary work improve life for the community mm, the volunteer work can make people to have relationship between the community and they can have interaction between lots of people and community. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. Yeah, thanks.